Are you struggling to find a gift for that special crypto hodler? Or are you being badgered by a family member and being asked what you want for Christmas? Of course you are. That's why you're watching this video. My name is Guy and today I'm going to tell you about the top 10 crypto Christmas gifts that won't require a gift receipt. So if you want to get that crypto fan what they really, really want, then you won't want to miss any of these picks. I'll also reveal a little known way for hardware wallet owners to take their crypto security to the next level. So be sure to stick around. Before I get going, I need to get a bit of legal mumbo jumbo out of the way. Although I may be a crypto Christmas connoisseur, I am not a financial advisor. Sorry to let you down on that one, folks. I hope I haven't ruined too many Christmases with that bombshell. So that means everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. With that stuff out the way, I want to welcome anyone new to the channel. Bonjour and welcome to Le Bureau. It's home to the most comprehensive crypto reviews and analysis on YouTube. Even better, I try to cut through that technical chatter and explain everything in a straightforward manner. If any of that sounds good to you, then why not join Team Coin Bureau by smashing that subscribe button? While you're down there, you will want to flick that bell as well. Do that and those bigwigs at YouTube will tell you whenever I release another video. Finally, your time is valuable. So if you're short of a few minutes and have a particular gift in mind, then be sure to check out the timestamps that I provided below. Now, let's get into those gift ideas. First, let's go over a classic stocking stuffer with a crypto twist. That would be these pretty awesome crypto socks from Mighty Pelican. These are available for the bargain basement price of £17.41 plus postage. A curiously specific price if you ask me. That's a shade under $25 for anyone else. Seriously, I imagine Vitalik himself would approve of these bad boys. Now, I know socks don't seem to be the most exciting thing to get for Christmas. But honestly, I assume you're like me and are super busy with researching crypto and getting into those hot projects. So yes, if I didn't get socks for Christmas, then I'd probably be wandering around in my bare feet by now. Also, if you work in a bank or anywhere else in the traditional financial system, then there's nothing that sticks it to the man harder than sporting a set of Monero socks under those suit trousers. So if there are any mums or girlfriends out there who've noticed their man has holy socks, then you'll want to pop over to Etsy to load up on a year's supply. Oh yes, you'll also be supporting a small business too, if you're into that sort of thing. Now mum, I know you watch my videos, so thanks in advance for a couple of sets of these. You know the phrase that it's better to be safe than sorry? Well, that's particularly true when it comes to keeping that crypto safe. After all, who really wants to be that guy that chucks a thousand dollars into a microcap gem turns it into a million dollars, only to find that those coins have been stolen. That's why my second crypto Christmas gift has got to be a hardware wallet. But which one to go for? I'm going to be honest here. Early in the year, I did a video or two and concluded that Ledger had just about pipped Trezor to the post as the king of hardware wallets. However, I'm going to have to revise that call. The reason why? Well, in June of this year, Ledger's customer database was hacked and resulted in 1 million customer email addresses being released into the wild. That's why there have been so many phishing attempts targeted at Ledger users in recent months, some of which have sadly succeeded. Even worse, a subset of 9,500 customers has been completely doxxed. Yep, Ledger managed to leak this group of customers' first and last names, postal addresses, phone numbers, and precisely what they ordered. Now, imagine you were a criminal mastermind. That list would be pretty valuable, right? Damn straight. You've essentially been given a hit list of crypto owners to rob or extort. Needless to say, those Ledger customers that ordered multiple hardware wallets are most likely to hold the most crypto. That massive data leak came from a company that's meant to be all about security. I don't know about you, but that shatters my faith in Ledger to keep my crypto and personal details safe. So, which Trezor hardware wallet should you go for? Well, the premium Trezor Model T goes for an eye-watering €180. Euros. Now seriously folks, I'd recommend you save the money and skip this option. 
Yes, a bigger screen is nice. So is having a color touchscreen and a micro SD card. However, all these additional features are nothing more than nice to haves. Personally, I'd save yourself some money and go for the equally as secure Trezor One. That will set you back less than 60 euros and supports over a thousand coins. There's simply no way that the Trezor Model T is three times better. Now, I personally have used a couple of Trezor Ones for years and have never had any problems. So, unless you have nothing better to spend your money on, then do yourself a favor and go for the cheaper Trezor One to keep that crypto safe. Link to that is in the description below. My third crypto gift idea to brighten up your Christmas has got to be some crypto art. Now, I know art is kind of subjective and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. However, nothing says this guy is dedicated to crypto more than some hot crypto artwork hanging up on your wall. I thought about this long and hard, but I'm going to reveal my personal taste in crypto art here. I know it's probably not quite as refined as many of you might like to have thought. Now, I want to make it clear that 21 HODL has not sponsored me or anything like that. However, if there are any of my mates watching this, then here's a massive hint. I'm a big fan of this snazzy Bitcoin astronaut number right here. I mean, let's face it, I'm sure all of us would welcome a bit of a Bitcoin moon mission, right? A bit of a motivational piece, if you ask me. Anyhow, be sure to check out 21 HODL. They have some pretty cool pieces on their site. Also, if there are any crypto artists watching this, then be sure to hit me up if you might be interested in a collaboration. There is a project or two that I plan to get off the ground in 2021, and I could sure do with some help from a better artist than myself. My fourth pick for that special crypto Christmas gift is a little something for those crypto traders out there. That would be crypto trading software or trading bots. So what are these bots? Well, they are computer programs that trade automatically when given a certain set of instructions or rule criteria to follow. That might be as simple as buying or selling a certain amount of Bitcoin if the price reaches a certain level. Now, of course, this is scratching the surface when it comes to the functionality of these bots. If you're a technical trader, then you can refine your own 24 7 algorithmic trading strategy, one that takes advantage of trends and other indicators. And if you're not too clued up on technical analysis, then I have a handy guide or two which you can watch. That's in the top right of the screen now. Anyways, all that means you don't need to be sweating those crypto markets in real time to make sure you don't miss out on those big market moves. So if you're living with a crypto trader or you're a crypto trader yourself and want to make more time for other things, then a crypto trading bot can help with that by automating your trading strategies. A word of warning though, You'll need to connect that crypto trading bot with your exchange account using an API. It is that API that enables you to trade programmatically. That should sound scary to you. Now, I need to warn you that there are a lot of scam trading bots out there, so be careful about which one you choose. Also, I need to dispel the myth that crypto trading bots are some magic money printing machine. They are not. Instead, they can save you time and give you more time away from your computer. However, if you have a losing trading strategy, then guess what? You're probably going to lose money with a bot. That's where something called backtesting is useful. This is when a crypto bot takes that strategy you're using and tests it against all the historical price data and tells you if you would have made money or not. Of course, past results don't guarantee future returns. However, this can have a ton of value for crypto traders. So what's the crypto trading bot I personally use? Well, that would be three commas. Over 100,000 crypto traders use them and three commas also processes tens of millions in trade volume every day. They also support 23 exchanges and that includes the likes of Binance, FTX, Bybit, KuCoin, Kraken, and many more. The other cool thing about three commas is that you can try before you buy for three days. So if you don't like what you see or get limited value from this trading bot, you won't lose a Satoshi. I've actually already done a dedicated video on crypto trading bots. In it, I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use three commas. So if you're interested in that, then you'll want to check out the video, which is linked to in the top right corner. Also, if you use my link in the description below, you'll get a 50% discount of three commas subscriptions. 
These start at $14.50 a month and so up to $49.50 a month for the Pro version. Those prices are at a discounted rate, by the way. Now, what about those boffins and bookworms that want to expand their crypto knowledge? My fifth Christmas gift has got to be The Bitcoin Standard by Safadin Amus. Sorry if I butchered your name there, buddy. Full disclosure, by the time I got around to reading this book, I thought I knew pretty much everything I needed to know about Bitcoin. Oh boy, was I wrong. Amos kicks things off by explaining what money actually is and which attributes are important for its longevity and success. This book really does lay the groundwork to truly understand the philosophy behind Bitcoin. Needless to say, the book challenges centralized banking systems and makes some damn good points on why decentralization and a fixed supply are so important. Now, I don't want to spoil this book. However, it is honestly a must read for anyone interested in understanding money, economics, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and the importance of decentralization. Remember, knowledge is power. So if that sounds like something you can benefit from, then whack this on your Christmas list or chuck it in a stocking for that special someone. My sixth crypto Christmas gift pick is all about enhancing your crypto security. Now sure, many of you know that getting a crypto hardware wallet is a good idea. However, most frankly don't upgrade their security beyond that. So I imagine that many of you are like me and worry about the likes of North Korea getting out of line and maybe pressing that big red button. Sure, all that nuclear stuff is scary, but how likely is that really to happen? I mean, the UK or US are probably going to launch hundreds or even thousands of nuclear warheads at any rogue state that resorts to those types of antics. Who really wins in the fun game of mutually assured destruction? Well, no one. But what most people don't talk about is the threat of electromagnetic pulse or EMP attacks. Any EMP bomb wouldn't cause any casualties. However, it could fry all your electronics and potentially bring down the power grid. Imagine the carnage that could cause in, say, the UK. I mean, that would probably be the breakdown of society, wouldn't it? If that came to pass, what would you want to bring with you in that speedy getaway? Well, personally, I'd want to be picking up my passport, some gold, and my hardware wallets. However, here's the problem. That EMP attack could have completely fried that trezor, which is probably your ticket out of this hellhole. Also, if you're like me, you probably store your seed words in another location for safekeeping. Here's another scary thing to think about. In 2012, the scientific community estimated that there was a 12% chance of an electromagnetic pulse in the next decade caused by solar flares. Now, I don't know about you, but that still seems too high a probability to me, when you can protect yourself against all of that for about $30. So, what I have personally done is to upgrade my crypto security by shielding my hardware wallets against any EMP mischief by popping them in a Faraday bag. Seriously, folks, you can get a military-grade bag like this one here for around 30 bucks. Also, if you surprise that crypto veteran with one of these bad boys, I can nearly guarantee you they won't have thought about protecting their coins against this sort of threat and will be damn impressed when you explain why you've given them that military-grade Faraday bag. Now, my seventh crypto gift idea has got to be a personalized blockchain address. Now, I mean, in the West, we like personalized stuff. That's why so many people with more money than sense tend to spend so much of that money on things like personalized number plates. Now, let's be real. I don't think any of us will really be buying a personalized number plate for themselves or anyone else for thousands of dollars on Christmas Day. Who's got that sort of money lying around? However, you can get personalized .crypto domains starting at just $40, and these offer a cool way for any crypto aficionado to receive crypto with a hot, personalized wallet address. So, a friend of mine might have just bought me a cool domain like coinbureau.crypto, and that would mean I can use it to accept payments in over 40 cryptocurrencies. Yep, I do own that bad boy. These crypto domains replace that random jumble of letters and numbers for your crypto wallet address. It's a pretty baller flex when you can say something like, send me that ETH to coinbureau.crypto, rather than copying and pasting an indecipherable wallet address like a mere normie. Oh yes, here's another thing to know. 
these blockchain domains actually have a pretty active secondary market. There are people out there that have flipped these blockchain domains for a tidy profit. If you want to learn more about that, then be sure to watch my comprehensive video. Yep, that's linked to in the top right as well. So, you want to get that special someone that crypto gift that no one else has? Well, the place to go would be Unstoppable Domains. I provided a link to that in the description below. Have none of my Christmas suggestions so far tickled your pickle? Well, I'm going to shamelessly now promote my own t-shirts. Now, some of you might even have marveled at them in my previous videos. I've actually designed each and every t-shirt myself, and I've been frankly blown away with how many people have decided to support my work on YouTube by getting one. So, what have I got on the shelves of my merch store? Well, I've got this little crypto Christmas number, one showcasing the evolution of money, my take on a crypto superhero shirt, and this little guy here, which isn't at all inspired by a famous chain of burger joints. Then I have Crypto Bay, a Bitcoin to the moon shirt, and the classic Coin Bureau t-shirt we all know and love. I really want to get these t-shirts into the hands of as many people as possible. So I've decided to offer a 10% discount on everything in my merch store for 48 hours, as of the time of releasing this video. So be sure to use the bonus code in the description below. A Christmas bonus from me to you. At number nine, I have a gift for your no-coiner mates who will realize that Bitcoin is the future of money way too late. Yes, these laggards won't be able to afford a whole proper Bitcoin. However, you can soften that blow while your future self is enjoying the high life by giving them a physical Bitcoin for about four quid. Sure, they might shove it in a sock drawer and forget all about it for a bit. However, in the future, they can dig this physical Bitcoin out and reminisce about all those times you were right and told them to get some real BTC. I've loaded up on these for some of my mates who are somehow still unconvinced. Maybe they'll get the message this Christmas with this cheeky little gift. Finally, at number 10, I want to address a question that a lot of people ask me. Should you give Bitcoin or your favorite altcoin as a gift? Well, honestly, I've done this in the past and guess what? My mates lost their private keys. Yep that Bitcoin would be worth a pretty penny today. From that experience, I learned that it's probably not a good idea to give crypto as a present to someone that doesn't know what it is or frankly doesn't care. Sure, I understand that we all love crypto and it can be tempting to think that everyone else in the world thinks the same. Well, here's the deal. They don't. Now, if a family member or friend has actually expressed an interest in crypto and hasn't got any, then this could be a great gift option. After all, it's a cool way to introduce them to something that is a big part of your life. But seriously, people, if your no-coiner mate or family member literally doesn't give a fig about crypto, then maybe just stick to that comedy physical Bitcoin and call it a day. All right, team, I think that's about all for today. However, I do want to share a few final thoughts. 2020 is probably going to go down as one of the worst years mankind has ever seen. Yep, a pandemic will do that. However, we have to remember that Bitcoin crashed to a mind-boggling $5,500 earlier in the year, and look at where things are now. It's not been a bad year in crypto land, and I think we can all be grateful for that. Another thing I am very thankful for is how many of you seem to give a damn about my crypto videos. You wonderful people have allowed me to follow my passion to become a full-time crypto educator. So. I just want to express my gratitude for all that support and thank all of you for joining me on this crazy YouTube journey. My Christmas gift to you all will be even more crypto videos over the Christmas period and my commitment to doing even better in 2021. Happy holidays to all of you. Now, if you're interested in getting your hands on any of the crypto gift ideas mentioned in this video, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. Before I go, I'd also like to give a quick shout out to the rest of the team here at the Bureau. So much of what you see up here on screen is the result of their hard work behind the scenes. I couldn't do all this without them, and they're the unsung heroes of this channel. Thanks, team, and keep up the good work. And finally, if you got value from this video, then why not send some seasonal greetings my way by smashing that like button? Oh, and don't forget to subscribe or I'll tell Santa what you did with that Monero. I bet you thought that was all. 
Well, I always leave the best for last. And because you made it to the end of that video, I have something to share. This is my weekly email newsletter. It's my way of succinctly crystallizing my views on the crypto markets for the week ahead. And nowadays, I also share unique insights as well as juicy coin tips. So, keen to be a part? Well, you better check out the description where I've linked to a sign up form. All you need to do is enter your email address and hit submit. Be sure to confirm your email, and that's it. You are now locked, loaded, and ready to receive my next email. Oh, and it's weekly. I hate spam, and you won't be getting any from me. Thank <laughs> you.